Hello everybody, welcome to the shop. We've got some strange material in my shop. It's lightweight, it doesn't really seem like metal. I think this stuff is called wood. I am not much of a woodworker, but unfortunately I'm going to be doing some woodworking for a new project. I'm going to be making a chicken coop. I've wanted chickens for a number of years. Uh, I, I used to have chickens years ago when I was in high school and uh, they're fun to have and it's time now that I'm at my my new house to make my own chicken coop. I have a nice uh, caged wire uh, run for them so I'm just gonna make a wooden chicken coop and butt it right up to the run. You'll see how it goes. So here's how I'm doing the legs. They're just chunks of 4x4 four four, and I'm screwing them onto the base of the coop with some pieces of 2x4. I preloaded all the 2x4 pieces with screws. Makes it a little bit easier for assembly. Then I screwed it onto the leg like so. So it's easy to just screw right onto the, onto the base. So you can just fit it up like so. Hold it nice and square. Use, the, uh, use your calibrated eye to uh, make sure it's square. Uh, and make sure to use your Phillips head screw a bit to uh, round off the head at the specified torque. So now I'm laying out the walls and putting them together. This is the first wall here. This is going to be the front. And what I started by doing was just drawing with some pen laying out where I wanted everything to go. There's going to be four nesting boxes in the back. There's going to be a little chicken door on the side. And on the front there's going to be a access door for cleaning out and replenishing the feeder and waterer, etc. which will be in the corners. So I'll build four walls like this. I, You see I put the bottom piece on, the four uprights, and then I'm going to screw down the top piece right there. As a side note, this is all being done with screws, no nails. I don't particularly like nails. Uh, screws are much more sturdy, especially with my uh, somewhat haphazard, not exactly correct way of building things. Uh, screws just give me a little, little extra insurance. Uh, anyway, the reason these are spaced unevenly is because this is the two foot wide door that I'm framing in and I will do a similar thing for the small chicken door and I'll make an allowance for the nesting boxes in the back. I will have a, a long door that I can flop open from the back side of the coop and I can take the eggs out that way instead of reaching all the way through from the front of the coop. So here I have the back portion, the back wall framed out. So I have an open bottom section there where I will put the egg access door. And the last thing which I forgot to do on the front, which isn't a big deal, but I'm going to really try to seal this up well. So I got some some caulk adhesive stuff. Uh, latex plus silicone caulk. It says it's good for indoor and outdoor and moisture resistant and all that. So I think that should be fine. I'm going to lay a bead down here and then put the framed wall right on top of it to make a nice seal and I'll do that for all the all the joints and siding and everything so I will minimize as much as possible water entry because water is a real bitch. Now here's one side wall framed out. Of course there really isn't much to see there. I decided against putting a, a middle piece because that's uh, a 30 inch span, it's really not that wide and the siding I put on will have plenty of rigidity and uh, I don't think we're really losing anything by not having studs that are 16 on center. Also I plan on putting a window here so it's plenty of space for a window without a stud in the way. And here's the last wall. This is the 10 inch by 10 inch chicken door that I framed out. That's going to get stuffed right in here after, of course, gooping up the bottom and the sides with some of that 
nice adhesive sealant stuff. Well, there you have it. That completes the framing portion of my chicken coop build. You'll notice I, I don't have a peaked roof on there. And uh, a peaked roof might serve a purpose for a human-sized house, but for a chicken coop, I don't think it much matters at all. So I'm just going to do a flat roof. It's a lot easier, uses less wood. I did add another uh, cross piece for the roof. Uh, I don't really know why. It's not like I really got to worry about snow load or anything, but just for a little extra rigidity, I put that piece up there. And again, there's the frame out for the chicken door. This is where the nesting boxes are going to be and a, and a big long fold out back door for that. And then the front access door is going to go right in there. So make sure to stay tuned for my next installment of this video or of this build. I'm going to be putting the siding on and the roof. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with all the videos I'm putting out. And leave a comment. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say, especially because I am definitely not a carpenter or a woodworker, but Honestly, I think this is turning out pretty well. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned, and make sure to catch the next video.